look at the first one. Now, I think it's easy. I think it's best to understand what the graph looks like, and or at least we can understand if there's dis, if there's um, discontinuities. Because if we, if you guys remember when we looked at that graph, like there was discontinuities, right? And the only time the limit didn't exist is when the general limit didn't approach from both sides, or we had a jump discontinuity, right? Holes and stuff like that were fine, and or asymptotes could be an issue as well. Well, we look at the absolute value graph, and we know the absolute value graph is that V-shaped graph, right? It's continuous. There's no jump discontinuities, and at least in this example, there's no holes, right? So we know that this graph is continuous on all values. Don't you guys agree? Right? And actually, you guys should just notice the V-graph would be shifted three units to the right. So I could even sketch this one, two, three, like this. And that's what the graph looks like. Now, with the value saying, limit as x approaches 0 of f of x, they're basically saying, what is the value of the graph as we're approaching x equals 0? Well, that's going to be like that dot right there. right? So what is that value? How do we find that value? Well, basically, we're looking for the y coordinate when x is equal to 0. right? So all we simply need to do, guys, is just plug in 0 in for x and then find the value of y. right? So the limit of f of x as x approaches 0 is going to be the absolute value of 0 minus negative 3 which is then equal to 3. Right? Yes? No? So that is what we call direct substitution. If you are looking for a given value and you can plug it in, well then just plug it in. It's pretty simple, right? OK. That's example number one.